March 2019. I got a hold of a full cage of hungry adult yellow fever mosquitoes to see what would happen if I let them suck my blood. This is before shot. Oh, should I take off my ring? Well, maybe if it's finger as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Think of that. This wasn't a rigorous science experiment, but it was something I had always wondered how my body would handle. Then I've always wanted to do this, and... <laughs> So my goal was to stick in my left hand until all the mosquitoes fed. So I'm okay. just helping Rob here. I'm just opening oh, up the right. entryway for his hand to go into the cage. Okay. I also wanted to see what would happen to Jonas. But because one of us had to hold the steering wheel to drive home, we decided he'd take another cage and do it on his back. And I will tell you now, I would never have predicted before how my body actually reacted. Let's pause right there and take you back to where this journey started for me. Kind of excited. I came to Florida to learn about the world's deadliest animal, the mosquito. Yep, that's right, the deadliest. And that's partly because mosquitoes are vectors of pathogens, but more on that later. I'm here to learn as much as I can from mosquito biologist Casey Parker and entomologist Andrea Lucky. Uh, we're checking traps this morning. And we did this because there's more than one species of mosquito in Florida, and we wanted to see what's here. 80 different species in Florida. And over 3,000 worldwide. And of the select few that bother humans, it's only the female that needs a blood meal. But there are so many mosquitoes around yards like this in people's neighborhoods that are not biting people. They're biting birds, they're biting rodents, they're even eating earthworm blood. But they're not really bothering us. So there are mosquitoes that are gonna cause a nuisance to humans in there and could potentially transmit right. pathogens as well. And my goal is to pinpoint one of the deadliest mosquitoes, get them in a cage and let them suck my blood. Should we just take this to the lab then and then we'll lay them out and see what we have? Sure. So we grabbed the mosquitoes and went back to the University of Florida's Entomology and Nematology Department. There we could look under the microscope at the huge array of different mosquitoes. But I kept coming back to this. Does it transmit disease? This is not a major concern in terms of disease transmission. And this was the case for most of the mosquitoes. The exceptions, Culix, which transmits West Nile and a handful of other encephalitic diseases. Anopheles, which can transfer malaria. And this one, the 80s mosquitoes, which are responsible for dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. All potential problems in the United States. And it was this mosquito, Aedes aegypti, or the yellow fever mosquito, that I decided would be best to let feed on my blood. But if I was going to understand the potential for getting one of these diseases, I first had to understand a bit more about mosquito biology. And fortunately for me, Casey had a colony of these across the hall. How many mosquitoes would you say are in this room right now? Like 2,000 per cage? <laughs> A lot of mosquitoes in here. That's cool. Okay, so this is the pupae. Yes. Whoa, they look so different. They'll emerge out of this pupil casing and they'll come right out directly into this cage. And so this cage we can pull from if we want to do an experiment, we can blood feed them, whatever we need to do. The males are gonna emerge first because they're gonna come out and essentially get ready. They're waiting for the female to come out. Once the females come off, the males and females mate. And a few days later, the female needs a blood meal to complete the she needs that to lay her eggs. So she'll take that blood meal. After that, she'll be able to lay her eggs and then we can start the cycle all over again. So this is a, a lab colony. And if we did want to have infected mosquitoes, we would have to feed these mosquitoes an infected blood meal. However, these mosquitoes themselves are not infected because they have not taken an infectious blood meal. And with these in particular, because mm -hmm. you just hatched them from yes. the egg, you know they don't have a disease. Yes, they've never been exposed to pathogens. So these guys that we will let feed on you do <laughs> not have any pathogens. That's good. You see right where I'm breathing, where oh, all these mosquitoes yeah, it's are? Like you have a beard. Oh my goodness. There. Can you see it? You're looking at it. You see it? It looks like little dots poking out through the mesh. At least now I knew I was safe from a deadly disease. And that's why I went back to grab a cage of the hungry 80s Egypti adults. What I didn't know is exactly how I would deal with my hand in the cage. And fair warning here, if you're a little squeamish about seeing footage of mosquitoes feeding on people, well, you might want to stop watching because that's exactly what I'm going to show you. First, Casey told me how to hold my hand. Definitely want to keep your fingers together uh -huh. because one of the more painful places that it can bite on your hand is actually in between your fingers. So make right. sure you keep your hand tight, closed. Right. Uh -huh. Try not to move too much because they are trying to get a meal out of this. So you don't want to disrupt them while they're trying to feed. So just be as calm as possible. It's going to itch and uh, 
yeah, you're just going to have to get through that. Push through okay. it. Then, as you do, I started a live stream because that felt like a very 2019 thing to do. Okay, here we go. Should I look? Don't at first. Don't at, here we don't go. at first. So get comfy. Let them get comfy. comfy. Just lay flat so I can see it as well. I want to say uh, in the range of like 100 on him right now. It's like you feel like an ant walking on your skin and then all of a sudden pinprick. It's mostly just creepy. I would describe it now. Your arm is looking like you went through uh, uh, like, uh, like nettles, you know? Those, oh, is that what it looks like? like? Uh, stinging nettles. <laughs> or, like, or like a jellyfish or something. <sighs> Truth be told, you can't feel every one of the needles going into your skin, but you can definitely feel some of them. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. You got the bug zapper? Come over here, Phil. Philip. We got a bug zapper. All right, start pulling. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, yes. So bad. Those, um, those are gonna swell a little bigger though. <laughs> you got some blood there too. Nice job, team. Now Jonas's turn. Oh man. Through the mesh, and so we can see their proboscis coming through the cage, trying to get at his back. Control, so this is kind of the the fun aspect of the videos, so or right. at least fun for me to watch. I'm doing good. I can hold a case. Right now, it feels like, have you ever like laid down in like dry hay or, or dry grass, and it starts to itch like crazy? That's kind of what it feels like. It's not painful, it's just itchy. It, now it's hay with with a few thorns <laughs> thrown into it, <laughs> like rose <laughs> rose bushes. <laughs> it's not fun. I'll tell you that. Uh, it's uh, but it's for science. It is for science. Let me, let me... A little hard to focus right now. Um, they prefer human blood. We will help them rear the next generation of mosquitoes uh, for studies. And this is not usually what's going on in my lab. Um, yeah. How's your back feeling right now? Uh, it's a little itchy. You know what? Those Did mosquitoes look mosquitoes? so happy right now. I let yeah. me just, uh, you might not feel good, but the mosquitoes look delighted. After both Jonas and I let our cage of mosquitoes feed on us, we could take a look at the reaction. Now the odd thing was that I think both of us thought it would be worse right away. Jonas's back was definitely more red and swollen. And here's a shot a day later. Mine was almost non-existent in a day. However, this is the weird thing that happened. Both of us almost said the same thing. We feel sick, but we weren't sick. The best we could tell is that our bodies mounted an immune response so that we had the feeling of being sick without the same coldness and sore symptoms. Unfortunately, I also don't have much footage of that because at this point I was home and in bed. If I knew that was going to happen, I probably would have asked someone to film it. So there you go. That's our experience filming about 2,000 mosquitoes feeding on us. Thanks for watching that short. I hope you learned something about mosquitoes along the way. I do want to thank our patrons for their support. That allowed us to make this extra cut for YouTube. Also, big thanks to Lawrence Rees for letting us use his mosquito shots. And this was all a bigger project on mosquito biology, disease, and control, which I'm linking to right here. So definitely go check that out if you're interested.